Okay, so in the last video, we got our cubes to become pictures facing us, pictures of space. In this one, we're going to randomly choose the picture of space, and it's going to be weighted, so stars are more likely, and these crazy galaxies are less likely. So I've brought in a lot of textures now uh, that were drawn by Kyler Kelly, and these are just the black is transparent and the white is is not. And so that lets us tint them later on. But you can bring in any set of textures you want. Now in our code we're going to have to update object info. So now we need a int for weight or random weight. So the higher this number is the more likely it is to happen. Or there's also a count. If we give it a count, then we'll say, you know, five, then it will definitely get five. So maybe you want a planet, you definitely want one planet. You won't want to take a chance and get zero or two. Finally, you're going to want, well, a minimum size and a maximum size. All right, so we're also going to need an int called space object count, which starts at, say, a thousand. But now we're going to need a way to get a random uh, object info from here, but make it so the ones that have a high random weight are more likely for us to select. So that's going to be a private object info get random object info. So the way this is going to work, let's say we have three pictures. This one, this one, and this one. The first one's very likely, it has five chances of being rolled. This one has two chances of being rolled, or weight two, and weight one. So first we need to add up the total weight. So that looks like this in code. We're going to start that total weight zero. We're going to go through every single object info. And for every single one, we're going to add that random weight. We're going to add it to total weight to get the total. So now we're going to choose a random number from 0 to 7, because we know 7 is our total weight. Let's say we choose 6. The way this is going to work, we're going to start at index 0, and we're going to add the, first, the weight of the first item, and we're going to get to here. We're going to ask ourselves at index 5, we're going to ask ourselves, is 5 greater than 6? No. So we're not going to go with yellow. Then we're going to do it again. We're going to pick the next one, the green one, and add 2. And we're going to go here. And we're going to say, is 7 greater than 6? And it is. So we're going to choose the green one in this, in this dice roll. And that's what this looks like in code. We're going to choose a random number from 0 to total weight. So it's 8, so it's 0 to 7. Index so far, we're going to start it at 0. Then we're going to go through each object info, adding the weight each time. And if the weight, if the random roll is less than that index so far, we're going to return an object info. So this will get us a weighted random object info. So if we go back up, we're going to have to use space object count now and replace it here. And make space object is, we're going to have to give it an object info now. So we're going to have to change down here so that it accepts an object info. Okay, and now we're going to need to use the texture and object info to change new space object. And this code might be a, look a little convoluted, but what's going to happen is we need to find the mesh renderer and change its material and change that texture. So we got that new space object. This is how you get the first child, the only child, index 0. Then we're going to want to get its component, of, that's the mesh renderer. And from there we're going to want to change its material. And the material, we want to set its texture. And it's going to be its first texture. And we're going to set it to the object info texture. I could clean that up a bit, but I'm not going to. So if you save that and go into Unity, 
Now for object infos, I'm going to fill this in a bit with all of these textures and give some good weights to stars and make galaxies and planets have a, a lower weight. Okay, so I just filled all that in with planets and made the stars pretty, pretty common. And when we press play, it's choosing a pretty good selection. So that's how you do a, a weighted selection in a list. And in the next videos, we're going to make these bigger and colorful.